my goodness. Hey, thank you so much. This is Josh with the C3M. And um, how are you this evening? Well, how are you today? I have no idea what time that you actually hear this. Uh, I'm recording this in the evening. So, anyway, I am getting extremely... Well, I was getting extremely frustrated because this is my third mic that I'm setting up. The microphone that I've been using... Excuse me. The microphone that I've been using um, decided to all of a sudden uh, crap out on me. It just completely stopped working and um, that was very very frustrating for me so anyhow um, thank you so much for just listening to that ramble <laughs> of me and the um, technical difficulties if you will of my two stupid microphones I'm not going to name the brand uh, because I love the brand but unfortunately it really just messed me up ticked me off and so my office is kind of a mess because I have the power supply sitting out to the side Two microphones sitting on my chair. I'm standing up. Um, Anyways, moving forward. So, how are you? I know I already said it one time, but I just want to say it again. I hope you're doing a lot better than I'm doing, and I'm not going to let what was going on frustrate me. Not one bit. And so, we're going to get and get along in this little show. Forgive me for not releasing a podcast last week. I ended up having to work extremely late, and I was just not able to... um, record my scheduled podcast that I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to stay I'm trying to stay up on a decent schedule here. So, but anyways, last week didn't work out. But anyways, here I am. I'm back. I know I say but anyways a lot, but I'm just trying to get focused and back on track because like I said, that frustration just was just frustrating me. If you can't tell cuz I'm still harping about it. I only have a certain amount of time um, that that I'm able to schedule myself to be able to record these podcasts. So with all that, after wait, uh, wasting two and a half minutes of your time and mine, um, finally, we're going to get into this this podcast. So hey, there, there have been some questions that um, you may have asked yourself or you may have seen floating around the internet, whether it be on a blog or a website or on YouTube. Um, if you are in... Well, really, if you do anything, if you do any any type of service for someone else that you're calling your business, for instance, I do videography and photography, and I also uh, do audio, whether it be recording of bands or mixing or just front of house mixing, you know, mixing and editing and so on and so forth and, and whatnot. So there's a question that, that's floating around and it's called, or I'm sorry, uh, the question is, should I work for free or should I do free work uh, because I want to build up my portfolio? Um, well, I'm not going to tell you yes or no, but I will tell you what it is that I have done. And what that, and what that is, is yes, I have actually done free work. And here's why. Because of, of the main question, I or part of that main question is I want to build up my portfolio. <clears throat> excuse me, my portfolio. And with that, the only way that you could really do that is by doing free work. Uh, excuse me for all the plosives and so on and so forth. Um, again, like I said, it has to do with the microphone. I'll go ahead and try to clean this up in post. So uh, for like that P. Um, okay. So when I first started my journey in photography and videography, I mostly, mostly photography, I wanted to build my portfolio. And so I did just that. I went and got the word out or the word got out that, hey, I'm willing to take some pictures for free and so on and so forth. And that's exactly what I did. I started to do a couple engagement sessions, or excuse me, I started to do a few sessions and how I got into being paid for my work is just that. I had a couple that wanted to invest in me. They like what I had to offer. And um, they were extremely excited and and they they wanted to give me that opportunity. And so I'm very thankful that they did because that propelled my career forward. And just, it was phenomenal. So, uh, wow, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm, I'm... I'm unfortunately really distracted. 
I'm just really irritated and I probably shouldn't be, probably should be recording a podcast because of this and I'm not focused, but I'm going to keep it short and sweet and, and just so that I quit whining to you all that, that I'm irritated that two of my microphones that are not cheap, they're over, they're over $500. Um, they both decided to crap on me tonight. So, but back to the whole free work issue. Um, I did, I did free work. Now, videography, I hate to, I hate. I, yes, I actually I did do some free work with videography. Um, I, and I I am doing one more free client, or I'm doing one more project for a client. Um, only because I'm trying to break into that market, so that might be another uh, another thing for you to look at. And uh, excuse me, another thing for you to look at is. Okay, if you only do one one type of work, for instance, just let's just say that you're you do a lot of weddings, okay, you do a lot of wedding videos and such, um, which is great, but you kind of want to branch out into some real estate or you want to branch out into I, I don't know documentary style or or something else. You just want to broaden your filmmaking, right? You want to do more and more than just wedding. You may um, you may reach out to to some people that you know that either are in that career field, whether it's a real estate agent or whether it's you know whatever it is. Okay, you're going to reach out to them and say, hey, whatever, whatever. Be like, hey, listen, uh, my name is so and so. I do some video work. I've been doing wedding uh, videography for a number of number of years. This is the amount of whatever this is the amount of videos that I've done that I've produced. Um, I'm looking to branch out into more markets. And you offer them the service without anything in return. For instance, you basically tell them, hey, I'm interested in just broadening up my, um, you know, building up my portfolio. Uh, would you be interested if I come and shoot a real estate video for you or what have you? Uh, I will then in turn um, give you the video for free with no strings attached, not asking you to promote it, not asking you to do anything else. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. You could either just, you can chuck it or you could use it, whatever you feel free to do, please do so. Okay. So, that's what I'm recommending, and that's what I've done. And I've reached out to a few different, few different folks. And like I said, I have one more free, quote unquote, free um, video that I'm going to be doing. And after that, I'm not going to be doing any more free work. Uh, for instance, I will be uh, this week. Today is today is May 16th. I will be down in Florida um, this upcoming weekend. I have two photo shoots to do, and I also have a video shoot to do, um, as well as another meeting about. Um, managing a cl- a possible client's um content page and and then what have you kind of help them through that and produce produce some stuff that they that they were wanting to do and so on and so forth so anyhow so it's been it's been a huge blessing for me and I'm extremely excited that I get to do it um I'm not full time yet I will be getting there full time you know what I'm saying so that's another reason why I'm um kind of doing the podcast and kind of also doing the um you know, the YouTube channel lately, I've been posting some, some stuff that I've done, some, you know, uh, just some video editing things that like I'm learning because I'm coming, you know, I'm, I'm learning Final Cut Pro. I think that's a very, um, phenomenal program. I've actually really enjoyed it. I've played a little bit around with DaVinci. I've played a little bit around, um, with Avid Media Composer. I've played a little bit around with, um, Adobe Premiere, you, you know, the the main ones and so on and so forth. Sony Vegas back in the day and and, and what have you. And I've come to really fall in love with I, I basically narrowed it down to Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere and I decided to go with Final Cut Pro ten, not X ten, sorry. Final Cut Pro ten. And yeah, so anyways, no looking back. I'm I'm pumped, I'm excited, I'm stoked, and it's moving forward. Now I am also, believe it or not, with I don't know how I got onto this, but I might as well just finish this thought. Uh, with my video or my my photos that I edit, I actually still use Apple Aperture. What? I know you probably think I'm absolutely crazy. Maybe for some of you, you're probably like, I have absolutely no idea what that is. That's all good. So basically, how I heard someone describe it is that iMovie is to Phonica Pro as iPhoto is to Apple Aperture. I hope that got that right. Anyways, it's like the professional version of um, iPhoto, which I don't even know if Apple has it anymore, which is sad. I have I have a few Apple products, and I don't even remember if I use iPhoto or not. See, there you go. I, d- I don't use iPhoto or Apple Photo or whatever in the world it's called anymore. I just, like I said, I still use Aperture. And yes, I do have Photoshop, 
But moment of truth here, I only have Photoshop elements. Yes, that's right. I'm one of those folk that just kind of um, kind of dig their heels in the ground a little bit and just refuses. I, I, I take that back. I don't want to say I refuse. That's not it whatsoever because I will be looking into Lightroom. And I just know that, you know, I'm getting to the point where I need to um, learn. Um, I don't want I don't want I'm going to be careful and say better program because that's not that's not what it is at all. That's not what I'm saying. But I need to be careful because I need to I can't rely on Apple Aperture anymore because it's a discontinued program. They've discontinued it for quite some time. I've had it for a while and, and they no longer use it. They got rid of it. So there's no more updates, so on and so forth. Boom. There you go. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I need to move into Photoshop or something like it. So uh, actually, if you can, leave me a comment. And let me know. Hey, what else is there? I mean, I've been looking into some other stuff and it's been kind of hit or miss. A lot of people saying, oh, I, I left this and I went, you know, I went into this or I left, you know, or, you know, I left this one to this. But you know what? That was a huge mistake. I've tried it for six months to a year and boom, I'm back at that program. So hopefully to get back to your to get back to the question. Wow, I am so sorry. My sincere apologies. I may not even release this episode, but you know what? I I have to. I have to release something. I got to keep on it. So, um, again, my apologies for just being all over the place. To 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 kind of do a real quick recap of this <laughs> this mess of an episode. Should you work for free? I had I had someone write. I had someone ask the question, and like I said, I'm sure you've seen it all over the interwebs that should I do free work? Should I do free photo sessions? Should I do free video sessions? Should I record bands for free? Should I record this for free? Should I, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and again, my opinion, uh, again, I'm not gonna actually, I won't give you my opinion. I'm gonna give you what I did. I did work for free. And again, with that, open the doors, open the opportunities for me to get paid work. There you go. That's pretty much all I'm gonna say about it. Um, I will no longer, wow, that was horrible. I will no longer be doing free work um, unless it's for like a really super, super close friend or something like that that just is in a pinch but really needs something done or it's for the church. So I do a lot of, I do a lot of video work for my church, um, sermon bumpers, just, just other things, you know, little promotional videos and series and, and whatnot. But I, I really hope that this somehow gives you some kind of clarification on what it is that you should do, okay? Um, now, because you know what? If you're going to jump in and you're going to start telling people, it's like, yeah, I make videos, and you've never made a video in your life, or for instance, here's a, here's a, here's a good kicker. Um, you went out and say, okay, boom, you got a camera, you got a light, you got a microphone, you got some kind of editing editing platform okay uh but you have no idea how to use it you have no idea what you know how to set anything up you have no idea how to you know how to do any type of you know what's l cut what's a j cut whatever 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 but yet you know so you really can't go out there unequipped and expect folks to be first of all i know for a fact what they're going to do is they're going to ask if you're going to be charging them is okay well what have you done what work have you done? Can I see your work? Can I see your portfolio? And you'd be like, uh, well, I actually never really did any video work. And then you're going to be like, so you're charging X amount of dollars. You want me to pay? I can't, I'm sorry. I appreciate that. Now, if we we're talking about 50 bucks, 60 bucks, maybe someone really generous would be like, you know, I can give you like a hundred dollars, you know, to do the video. Then, okay, maybe we could talk, but yeah, I, 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 I'm glad I did the free work because like I said, it, it opened up a whole, whole, it opened up a whole new world for me in this photography and videography. And I, and I'm so pumped. I literally have sold, I may have mentioned this in a previous episode. Um, I think the first one, <laughs> cause this is only episode number two. And, um, I'm so sorry. If you have stuck around this long to this podcast, I commend you. I thank you so very much. And I promise, I promise, I promise it will get better. It will get more scripted, more polished, just so it's not boring you to death. It will make more sense. I absolutely promise you that. So anyways, yeah, yeah, that's the music. I rambled on a little bit too much, but I, I, I absolutely, truly, truly hope that this helps you that, yeah, you know what? Maybe doing free work here and there isn't a bad thing. It helps you cut your teeth. It helps you figure things out. It helps you, you know, get practice because you know what? That's exactly what it is.